Laisse rien ici Das ist meiner. Schon wieder! Du bist so groß und langsam! Du wirst ihn nie fangen! Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh no. My name is Callie Watts, and I do not like Christmas. Now, before you think I'm going full scourge for nothing, you should know that Christmas didn't like me first. See, every Christmas season, something bad happens to my family. This year, Christmas decided to give us an early preview. Our apartment burned down. The guy upstairs tried deep frying a turkey for Thanksgiving. No one got hurt, but we lost everything. Thankfully, some nice people donated a little money to help us move. The curse started long ago with Dad's cancer diagnosis. He died a year later on Christmas Eve. Next, we lost our home due to Dad's medical bills, then Mom's car accident, so we said goodbye, car, and hello, bus pass. Grandpa died last Christmas. I still miss him a lot. So, as far as I'm concerned, Almost. there is nothing merry about Christmas. It's official. World's heaviest stressor. I hope you're happy with how tall you are, because I'm pretty sure we just stunted your growth. You okay, kiddo? I was okay until you decided to move us to the human version of Whoville. We moved here because someone was kind enough to lower the rent so we could afford it. Human Whoville is just a pleasant bonus. <laughs> Look, I know how you feel about Christmas, but I love it. It's my favorite time of year, actually. Even though it wants to destroy us? <laughs> Christmas does not want to destroy us. It wants to draw us closer Remind us how grateful we should be for all we have. Christmas burnt up all we have. Technically, that was Thanksgiving. Sink's broke. No water. I'll look at it later. Our first visitor. Mm. How do we get to decide who gets to answer it? Draw straws, rock, paper, scissors, gundle on the street. Ooh, Gundul. Might turn our new neighbors against us, though. Mm. You get this, I'll get our first phone call if we ever get a phone. Dealio. Welcome to the neighborhood. How precious are you? You must be Callie Watts. Mm. 
Which would make you Rachel Watts. Yeah, how'd you know? I know everything there is to know in my neighborhood. I'm Nellie Green. I live in that really nice big house across the street. Oh. I guess your movers haven't come with your furniture yet. Actually, this is it for now. Oh, that's right. You lost everything in the fire and your husband did it years ago. Oh, we're so sad. Did, did you Google us? Don't worry, Rachel. Lots of eligible men out here. Rachel doesn't need help dating. <laughs> really? <gasps> you are a little bit younger than my darling Lisa, but I'll make her be your friend. Nothing's necessary. Lisa is the most popular girl in school, and she is absolutely stunning. She takes after me, thank goodness. <laughs> I'm kind of the town leader. I don't know if you notice the decorations coming into town. All me. <laughs> but it's not even December yet. Oh, honey, I had them put that up clear back in October, all in preparation for... I'm dreaming of a green Christmas. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Green like your last name. It's a Christmas party. It's not a Christmas party. It is the Christmas party. I hire the most wonderful Santa and I buy a ton of gifts for the local poor kids. When that Santa and his elf walk in with that big sack of toys, those impoverished children just light up with joy. <sighs> it's fabulous. Wow, that's really generous of you. Mm. It is, isn't it? Oh, but I don't do it for the glory, no. Of course not. No, I do it for those filthy poor kids who would have absolutely nothing were not for me. Oh, and I have tons of extra Christmas decorations if you need them. Thanks, but we're good. Suit yourself. But you really don't want to be the only people in town without decorations. I mean, even Otto has them. Oh, speaking of your neighbor, Otto, Rumor has it he is a former World War II Nazi soldier in hiding. Mm -hmm. That's why he rents that house over there, so he can just run off at a moment's notice. I'd steer clear. Why hasn't someone done something? <laughs> I've been trying to get Otto kicked out of this neighborhood for years, but the police won't listen to me anymore, and the town council just turns a blind eye. There is something going on over there. Every now and then, late at night, a van comes in. Men come in and they come back out with different packages. Packages of what? That, my girl, is a mystery. But don't worry. I've got a new angle. One that's gonna get Otto kicked out of this neighborhood once and for all. having a TV. <laughs> All in good time. So, how are you feeling about starting school tomorrow? Neuronal, irresolute, flatulent. See, aren't you glad someone donated a thesaurus and not a TV? I am disinclined to concur. I got it last time. It's all yours. Chicken. If it's Nellie again, I'm telling her to adopt you. Mm, she is a big TV and a streaming service. I'll consider it. Hi. Hey. Uh, I'm Chris. Oh, sorry. Uh, hey. A volunteer handyman? Yep, uh, mostly for new people in the neighborhood. That sounds really nice. Sounds like a scam to me. <laughs> no scam. I just like to help people. Exactly what a scammer would say. Uh, I have references on the card. Anyone can print a little card. How do we know this is really you? Hey, Chris. Hey, Bob. 
That was awfully convenient. Is Bob a part of the scam? <laughs> Do you need help moving stuff in? Nope. Lost everything in a fire. Makes moving real easy. OK. Um, well, I've got a hot dog waiting for me in the truck. If you do need help in the future, call anytime. Why didn't you eat your hot dog before? It'll be cold now. I like cool hot dogs. Mm, that's weird. What was that? I've never seen you be so mean to someone. I'm just being cautious, stranger danger and all that, like you taught me, by the way. For all we know, Chris here could be another Nazi like our neighbor Autobahn. I think his name is Otto. Oh. Chris is pretty cute though, right? Pretty repulsive if you ask me. Oh, so I definitely shouldn't date him if he asks me out. I'm just looking out for you. You're a sucker for a pretty face. Aha, so you admit it, he's cute. I'm going for a walk, gonna look for wanted posters with Chris's face on them. If you find any, bring me one back. I'll hang it in my room. Oh. <sighs> Do you need some help? Oh, uh, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Uh, uh. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I saw the boys that did this. Jake and Peter. This is not the first year they do this. Did you call their parents? Long ago, did not help then, will not help now. So, <laughs> they make a mess, I clean it up, and so it goes. But, that's not fair. My name is Otto, and you are? Um, Kelly, you just moved in next door. Oh, well, Kelly. You have heard the saying, life is not fair. <laughs> I definitely know that one. What you may not have heard is this. To err is human. To forgive, divine. Forgiveness frees us from anger, hatred, and pain. At my age, I wish to spend my life in as little pain as possible. <laughs> so, when the boy's there, I forgive. Time to get up, sweetheart. Our new lives await. Uh, just five more minutes. Mm, good morning, sunshine. What if I let you pick breakfast? Anything you want, you name it. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, strawberry waffles, hash browns covered in melted cheese, buttermilk biscuits drowning in butter. That sounds perfect. Mm -hmm. Sorry, had to get you up somehow. Our buses will be here soon. How are you feeling? Excited? Mm, more like anxious, restive, high-strung, tense, apprehensive, excitable, fearful, perturbed. I'm hiding the thesaurus. <laughs> and what about you? Excited for multiple bus rides to your new job. Then more buses after work to the library for four glorious hours of online hacker school. Computer coding school. Mm. And I don't have your fancy thesaurus, so I am hesitant. Doubtful, scared. Sorry, that was too truthful. Mm, you're the smartest and bravest person I know. You'll do great. Thank you, sweetie. But I'm supposed to be telling you that. Mm, me too. Where do you think I got it? This is a wonderful school. I, I really think you're going to enjoy it here, Callie. 
The kids are great. They're so welcoming. And you're here at the perfect time of year, too. We have so many Christmas programs planned this month. Ah, Kelly, this is Lisa Green. Welcome to Canville Middle School. Lisa, we'll show you around. She'll take you to your first class. OK, bye-bye. You met my mom, Nellie, yesterday. Mom sensed you could use a little extra help. So she asked me to take you under my wing, show you around. Be your friend, you know, because you're the new kid and, like, super poor. Mom's really into charity, as you already know. So she figured I could help you fit in, since I'm kind of like the queen of the school. Right, girls? Oh, that's Johanna and Kasaya. Oh, Come on hi. now, I'll show you around. So there's the cafeteria. I bring macrobiotic lunches from home, so I have no idea if the food here is any good. Oh, but the school does have a free lunch program, so you should make sure your mom signs you up for that. Oh, I don't really. And down the hall is ceramics, woodworking, and AV classes. I call it loser land. Kind of self-explanatory. Oh, and there's the teacher's lounge, but I'm allowed to use it because my mom's like super in charge of the town and head of the PTA, so everyone's kind of scared of her. So if you ever want to like watch TV or take a nap during class, just let me know. Okay. Those are my besties. I'm cheer captain, of course. Good morning, binocular boy. <laughs> Can you believe those glasses? You'd think he could see satellites in space with those things, but instead he's constantly running into things. It's hilarious. <laughs> That's secondhand, too. She gets all her clothes donated from charity. Just be glad you're not as poor as her. Oh, there's Minnie Mindy. Watch this. <laughs> I love this school. That's Diana. She was the new kid before you showed up here. She's just like you, poor and super unlucky. Someone stole her electric wheelchair during the move here. I mean, like, what's with all the poor people coming here? It's like an invasion. Super weird. <gasps> Speaking of weirdos, did my mom tell you about your neighbor, Otto? He's like an old German man version of Sue. No family, no friends, total loser. Have you ever met Otto? You kidding? I see him taking care of his yard all the time, but I've never actually talked to him. Does anyone talk to him? Why would they? Dear Callie, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah to you. You have received the Santa box, now here is what to do. A Christmas wish I'll grant, just write it on the back. Please keep it within reason, a car won't fit in Santa's sack. Place the note back in the box and wait until it's night. Then put it back where you found it and be sure to turn off the light. Then last but not least, go directly back to bed. Do not peek, do not spy on the jolly man in red. The Santa box is special and must be kept a secret. Tell your parents if you'd like. Just be sure that they won't leak it. If you follow these instructions, your wish will soon come true. Peace and joy this Christmas season from the Santa box to you. Boy, did you pick the wrong person. going on? <sighs> How are you not bored of this? Don't you ever wonder what he's doing over there at two in the morning? It's been like 10 years. I think I stopped caring nine and a half of them ago. Why don't you just go over and ask him yourself and end the mystery? <sighs> like he'd tell me. Besides, you should care if you want to get your hands on that property he's renting. Donald's already rich, and he actually likes Otto. 
so he's never going to kick him out so that he can sell us the place, no matter what you offer him. Besides, my investors moved on, like, a long time ago, and so should you, Nell. Can we please just, like, go to sleep? Forget investors. I had Ted update the plans. He was able to fit another home on the property layout. That's four. With the current market value, imagine the money that we would be making off this one deal. So this house that we live in has two mortgages on it. So no bank is going to give us a loan, do you understand? I have some dirt on Mindy. She'll make sure the loan goes through. I'm pretty sure that's called extortion. Honey, we need this deal to go through in order to get out of debt. Do you understand that we're in debt because you spend money like we have a printing machine in our over-mortgaged basement? Imagine, no mortgages, all bills paid for, a college fund for Lisa. You'd rather kick an old man out of his home than start spending and saving responsibly. Callie? Hi, it's Sue, right? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Anderson assigned me as your lab partner since I didn't have one. Is that okay? Of course. I look forward to blowing up the school with you. <laughs> uh, just a joke. Science class, mixing chemicals and stuff. Sorry, I'm not used to hearing jokes unless they're about me. I'm sorry, Sue. But if you're my lab partner, you're gonna hear a lot of terribly unfunny jokes because <laughs> I get them all from my mom. Our big science project is coming up we should get together. There you are. Oh, it's Sue. I thought Callie was talking to a pile of old laundry someone left in the hallway. We can talk later. Look, it's only been a couple of days, so I'll forgive you. But if you're going to be my friend, you cannot be caught talking to losers like Sue. Mom, you're exhausted. I told you I'll make dinner until you're done with online school. I appreciate the thought, sweetie. And as much as I love mac and cheese, I don't think we can live off it. Hey, I make a mean PB&J, too. How did I beat you home? Where have you been? I uh, met my lab partner after school, worked on a science project, and then promise you won't get mad. In the history of anyone asking that question, has anyone kept that promise? I was helping our neighbor, Otto. The Nazi neighbor? He's not a Nazi, Mom. He's a sweet old man, and everyone hates him. There must be a reason. Mom, he has no friends or family. Cal. You've always told me to make my own decisions based on actual facts, not gossip. <sighs> OK, fine. But I want to meet this Otto guy. You think he likes lasagna? Oh, hello there. You must be Rachel. It's nice to finally meet you. Kelly's told me all about you, but she didn't know if you liked lasagna. Oh, it is one of my very favorites. Sorry we just moved in, so I don't have a casserole dish yet. Oh, no, no, not to worry. <laughs> Do you need this returned? How pathetic would I sound if I said yes? Not in the least. Conservation is the heart and soul of economy. <laughs> Otto has all sorts of cool sayings like that. Oh, no, no, you don't flatter me. I steal them from movies, books, and such. Oh, but uh, I, I apologize. I should be bringing you welcome gifts, but I do not drive anymore, so shopping can be... No, don't worry about it. And, and if you ever need anything, I'm happy to go to the store for you. You are too kind. <laughs> oh, are you Jewish? Oh, why, well, yes, yes, I am. Did Nellie make you put up all these Christmas decorations? No, no, not at all. I may not celebrate Christmas like you do, but I love its festive nature and the good spirit it brings each year. I am sorry. I would invite you in, but I have an aversion to people coming inside my home. It's an old habit from the war, I'm afraid. Oh, no problem. I completely understand. It's close to bedtime anyway, so it was so nice meeting you, Otto. Lovely meeting you too, and good night. Good night. 
good night now. <laughs> oh, and thank you. Oh, of course. There you go. So, what do you think of Otto? <sighs> okay. He is a charming, sweet old man. He really doesn't have anyone? Nope. And since he can't drive, he's stuck at home, forced to do yard work. <laughs> some people love yard work. I heard it was a punishment for murder in some countries. <laughs> so, can I help him with his yard work after school every once in a while? Why? You murder someone? Mom, I saw kids throwing rocks at his decorations last week. I mean, I hate Christmas, but even I wouldn't do that. And the neighbors just stood and watched the kids do it. You can help Otto as long as your homework is done. But if his rule of no people in his house just happens to change for you... Okay, I know. When I'm helping Otto, I feel like I'm helping Grandpa. And then I don't miss him as much. I know I'm extremely pretty, but the real question is, am I too pretty? Like, is that even a thing? I don't think so. Rachel, right? Yeah. You want to ride? I can get those. Doesn't mean you have to. Hey, how's it going, Callie? I don't mind taking these in. Are they heavy? <sighs> yeah, extremely. Probably have a hernia. Hmm, a hernia's fatal. <laughs> What is he doing here? Eye candy. You're so gross. If you want to meet me at the bus stop on grocery day and help haul our food to the house, be my guest. Oh, you know I would. Sweetie, I know. But I'd much rather watch him do it. Right here, good? All right, do you need help putting anything away? Uh, I could fix something. I've got some extra time. Nope. Thank you for the ride. If you have some extra time, I'm about to turn some of this stuff into dinner, if you're hungry. Yeah. Um, actually, I just remember to have somewhere to be. Uh, rain check, though. Yeah. Dinner, Mom. Really? What? We're making new friends at school. Can't I make a new friend? It's been a long time. I thought you'd finally given up on getting Otto kicked out. Because otherwise, you've driven a long way to hear me repeat myself. I'm not going to evict Otto. You and that entire town should be ashamed of the way you've treated him. He's a Nazi, Donald. Give it up. You've never even spoken to the man. I know Otto. Aside from him being the kindest and gentlest person I've ever met, he pays his rent on time. He's turned that place into a Garden of Eden. He's probably tripled my property value. Why on earth would I ever want him to leave? Because you really want to build that condo development. 
How did you hear about the condo? I'm going to make this real simple, Donald. If you want the city to sign off on your plans, you'll evict Otto. And you'll sell that property to me at a drastically reduced price. I don't know who you're working with for my organization, but by the time my lawyer is done by with the By the time both you're done, one of your competitors would have already broken ground. It's simple. You either lose a friend or a fortune. The choice is yours. No. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Is it the guilt? Tell you what. Let the town council decide if Otto stays. They say yes, I'll drop it. And you'll leave Otto alone, for good. And your condo deal goes through. If you're willing to sign a contract stating as much, you have a deal. You may have turned that whole town against Otto, but I can't possibly imagine they would kick an old man out of his home, especially during Christmas. Probably right. Hey, Otto. If you don't drive, then where did all of these new flowers come from? Come, I show you. Could I get arrested as an accomplice for seeing this? <laughs> Nothing nefarious in here. Just flowers and vegetables. You have a garage garden? I grow them from seedlings in here to keep them away from vermin and the elements. Then, when they are strong, I transfer them into the yard. Wow. What's this one? Ah, that is radish. And onions and this. This is broccoli. You like broccoli? You very quickly learn to love many things when you are young and starving, even broccoli. Was that from World War II? Yes. But I do not wish to speak of sad things. Mm -hmm. I will show you happy things. Oh, this is my favorite. The purple snapped like. Wow. It's beautiful. Yes. She is. It must be a lot of work, oh. though. Oh, it is. <laughs> but I do it to please the eye and brighten the way of strangers who may pass by someday. Movie quote? Fortune cookie. <laughs> but everyone around here is so mean to you. Why try brightening their day? I am like a man who fishes. I throw a line of joy out into the world. Sometimes I get a bite. Sometimes I get beat. <laughs> but I keep fishing. One never knows. Small moments created can bring big changes. Small moments? Imagine you are having a most terrible day. You feel lonely, no good, unwanted. And then you pass by a yard filled with God's exquisite creations. So beauty, color, and majesty is just enough to chase the darkness away, granting a moment's peace. Just 
long enough for you to hear that whispering voice inside that says, you are not alone. You are of worth. You are loved because you are mine. Come, I will show you the rest of the garden. <laughs> Did you order a computer? Mm, yes, I put it on our goal card. I also decided to buy us a vacation home in Hawaii. Oh, great. But seriously, someone made a huge mistake. What'd the shipping label say? That's the weird part. It had my name, our address, but no packing slip or return address. It's a $3,000 computer. Our last car cost half that. I'll, I'll just call the post office tomorrow at work and have them pick it up. Or you could just use it so you don't have to spend extra hours on buses and at the library. Otto's a movie streaming fanatic. I'm sure he'd let you use his Wi-Fi. Someone could lose their job over this. No way I'm keeping it. But it's yours. Like, it was addressed to you and everything. Nobody's gonna get in trouble. Do you know anything about this? I can't believe you sacrificed your Christmas wish for me. Oh, well, believe me. If I knew they'd actually go through with it, I would have asked for a TV the size of a truck. Face it, kiddo. You are an amazing person. Consider this your gift as well. Hmm. Well, having you home more is my gift. Did you know that I'm the same height as movie stars? So that means I'm technically like kind of the perfect height because everyone wants to be the same height as movie stars are. And, like, I wouldn't want to be shorter. No offense, I wouldn't really want to be your height, because then I wouldn't be tall enough. Can I join you? Not if it's going to bring Lisa over here. Don't worry. She went to go lecture the cheer squad. Apparently, they weren't peppy enough during the last assembly. I'm sorry for not saying anything when Lisa's mean to you. It wouldn't have mattered. She'd still do it. Then you'd be an outcast like me. I promise I'm not like her. Then why did you wait for Lisa to go before you came to talk to me? You're totally right. I just don't know what's wrong with me lately. It's fine. I don't blame you for being embarrassed to hang out in public. But it's not fine. I've been so horrible to you. I am so sorry, Sue. Can we still be mad scientists? Can you work on the project after school today? Yeah, but Mr. Anderson wants us to work on it at home. My place is about as nice as my clothes, so we should go to your house. <laughs> Do you have a couch, chairs, a kitchen table? Well, yeah. Trust me, your place is better. Do you happen to have a TV? In all my years of life, I thought I'd never see the day when someone with so little would give their wish away. So again, I give the Santa box. You already know what to do, but this time, think of yourself and make a Christmas wish for you. Someone really wants you to have a Christmas wish. Why are they doing this? This whole thing just reminds me of all the bad stuff that happened during Christmas. Those things have nothing to do with Christmas, sweetie. You're missing the whole point. We can't control when bad things happen, but we can control when good things do. You know, most people take a computer for granted, but for me, it's an enormous blessing. That's the gift Christmas gives everyone. The chance to change 
the world for someone that needs a little help. You helped me. Let someone help you. Come on in. Thank you. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, not at all. I'm just making dinner, waiting for Callie to get home. Perfect. Follow me. Come on. <laughs> so I passed the yard sale, and I thought of your starving house and its poor empty tummy. My house is not starving. I fed it a dresser, two mattresses, and my daughter. <laughs> you didn't have to do this, but thank you. I'll pay you back. Sorry, that's against the Christmas rules, and you will invoke the wrath of Santa if you try. <laughs> the wrath of Santa. I don't know, maybe it was the wreath of Santa? Fine, but you should stay at least for dinner and try them out with us. Uh, Kelly's made it pretty clear how she feels about me. <laughs> Kelly's a doll once you get to know her. <sighs> the last doll I saw was in a horror movie, and it was killing everyone. Don't worry, you can sit far, far away from her. The table looked a lot bigger in the back of my truck. Isn't this great? We don't have to sit on the floor anymore? So, Kelly, how's that science project going with Sue? Oh, science projects, huh? That sounds interesting. What are you building? It's a contraption that can make people disappear. Forever. Oh, that's handy. What is it, really? It's a catapult. I can fling up to 200 pounds over 100 miles away. How much do you weigh again, Chris? I'm sorry your daughter loves me more than you. She really is the sweetest girl. You just need to come around more so she can get to know you. I'd like that. Thanks again for the early Christmas gift. You didn't happen to buy me a computer, did you? No, but I can keep an eye out for one. Although yard sale computers are usually glorified doorstops. <laughs> no, I, I meant, never mind. Oh, sorry, forget I said anything. Actually, if you see a couch in the $50 range, just go ahead and buy it, I'll pay you back. At this point, as long as it's not infested with something creepy, I'm good. Yeah, I'll keep my eyes filled. <laughs> and I'm paying you for it. So don't give me any guff over it. Fine. I'll keep my guff <laughs> <laughs> and share none with you. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mom! The toilet's clogged. I need help! <sighs> Finally figure out what to ask for? Yep. Will it injure Chris in any way? Guess what? What? Hold on, Dot. My Santa box wish came. That was fast. What did you wish for? A season like this is for someone like you. Smart and kind and a friend, that is true. Use this gift card to buy something that's cool, like gallons of ice cream. Now I'm starting to drool. Merry Christmas from the Santa Box Elf.
Christmas curse. These things, they are not curses. My dad, home, car, grandpa, burnt apartment. Well, I mean, technically that was Thanksgiving, but it's still Christmas's fault for being a bad influence. <laughs> Question, how was your life between all these so-called curses? What do you mean? Were you homeless, starving, begging for scraps of food in the street? Well, no. We've always been happy. I have been through many bad things in my life, but when they were happening, I never bothered to stop and check the calendar. Purple Snapdragon, right? Very good. <laughs> oh, it was Aglaia's favorite. This is the very flower I gave to her on the day we were married. <laughs> In Greek, Aglaia means beauty or splendor. But she was so much more. I have been grafting the original, this new snapdragon, to keep it alive all these years. Aside from my memories, this is my most cherished possession. Aglaia and I had a very good life, but we also had many trials. But the bad times helped us appreciate so good. When I see this flower, those happy memories return. And I feel she is with me. Did you ever get angry? You know, because of all the bad stuff that happened? But who would I direct this anger? You know. God. Oh, how could I be angry at the one who brought Aglaia into my life? You have been through much, my young friend. Perhaps more than most children your age. But our trials are not only what makes us strong, they also help to guide us. How? The events of my life, good and bad, led me to Aglaia. Your good and bad has led you here at this very moment in time. Yet, you believe Christmas will not bring you joy, but tragedy. Fine, you are lucky. How could that possibly be lucky? Because you know it is coming. You have time to prepare. Decide right now how you will respond. Do you allow it to make you bitter and angry as you have been in the past? Or will you face the challenge and be brave? Will you allow yourself to grow strong by asking yourself one simple question. What am I meant to learn from all of this? Okay, everything looks good. I think this will be the biggest and best party I've ever thrown. Yeah. if you can remember to do your job correctly. Now, there is one last thing I would like to discuss before we leave, and that is concerning auto nymphs. I'm sorry, does anyone have anything that they'd like to say? Well, it's just that you've tried everything to remove auto, but legally, there's nothing we can do. You know, I've been financing this Christmas party for the last 10 years. Maybe I should just let all of you buy all of the gifts for all those poor kids and pay for catering, decorating.
decorations, building rentals, insurance, security. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're not saying give up. I think I speak for everyone here when I say, if you can find a legal way of getting Otto kicked out, we'll back you. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Shall we put it to a vote? I feel like since I started wearing jean jackets, a lot of people have been wearing jean jackets. I mean, like, I'm not saying you're copying me. Technically, like, you kind of are, you know? Hi, Sue. You look amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Early Christmas presents. It's great wearing pants that don't fall down when I sneeze. <laughs> you look like a... It's nice actually knowing the size of clothes I wear. Well done. Doesn't she look great, Lisa? I mean, we for... still working on the science project after school? Yeah, I'll see you at your place. <laughs> I bet that's close. <laughs> see you then. I bet you smell good. As opposed to before. She's gone. The moment's over. Let's go put some lip gloss on you so you can feel better. You should have seen it. Sue looked amazing and Lisa almost blew a gasket. I wish I had a video of her face. <laughs> Are you now not afraid that Sue will turn out like Lisa? Nah, Lisa's a brat because of her mom. But Sue only has a dad. And he's a really good guy. They don't have much, but they're happy. They sound quite wealthy to me. Oh, are you still coming to our new home celebration dinner tonight? <laughs> but of course. <laughs> Can I bring anything? No. My mom's really excited to be cooking for someone than just me, so there will be lots and lots of food. Plus, her new friend Chris will be there. And is this Chris uh, not your friend also? He's nice, I guess. I mean, Mom's dated before, but I've never seen her look at a guy the way she looks at him. Is that his bad? It's just weird. Mom liking someone other than my dad. And he keeps bringing us stuff for Christmas. He just brought a couch and a chair. And it's like he's trying to replace what we've lost. He can't replace what I've lost. Is he trying to replace? It is Christmas after all, and you just told me of a very kind gift that brought joy to your friend Sue. Perhaps this Chris is just trying to bring joy to you and your mother. It's time to give up. I know when I'm beat. With a spirit like yours, I cannot compete. And since I can't win, I'll offer you a deal. Find those who need wishes, and I'll make them real. Help anyone you like, but the same rules apply. Keep the Santa box secret, so you'll have to be sly. If your mother approves, and I think that she will, we'll make lots of folks happy. Christmas joy they will feel. The Santa box. So, can I? Hey, time is up, everyone. Relax until class is over, and feel free to bother each other. Just leave me alone. Are you okay, Ben? Yeah, it's just allergies. It's not just allergies. Little Benny's sad because his only friend just died. That's horrible, Ben. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's just an ugly dog. Wait, you have a cat, right? What if your cat killed your dog because he was jealous? <laughs> Hold on. Why are you home so early? Is it 
the Christmas curse? Did you get fired? Do we have to move again? No, a water pipe broke and it flooded the office, so they sent us home early. Hurry, there's something for you inside. What? Okay. It wasn't here when I got home. Then I went to check the mail and boom, it was sitting on the porch. Why are you acting so weird? <laughs> there was a note that told me to look inside, so I looked. Now you, go, go, go! Okay. Are those real? I've never seen that many all together before, but yeah, real. That looks like a lot. It is a lot. Read the note. It says for you to read it. Dear Callie, this money is yours to do as you wish. Your gift of sacrifice has given me hope for the youth of this time, and I pray your example will spread farther and wider in this world than the darkness that's currently fighting to engulf it. You have wisely discovered that it's not about the gift, but what need that gift fulfills. But don't forget that sometimes money or a material object is perfect, but other times what people need most is just to know that someone out there cares. This will be the last time you receive the Santa box. Please set it outside tonight so I can continue my favorite tradition. Thank you for making my Christmas extra special this year. Merry Christmas, Callie, the Santa box. What should I do with the money? That's up to you, sweetie. Mom, I need a bus pass. There's something I need to buy. <laughs> yep, look, still crying. <laughs> I can see why you love this. Who's next on the list? I don't know. Well, if you need a helpful elf again, you know where to find me. Wait, I got it! Lisa is the answer. Lisa's the answer? I'm afraid to hear the question. Ugh. Lisa loves making fun of kids for different things. I'm going to use those things to help them. That's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Lisa doesn't know it yet, but she's about to help me fill my Santa box wish list. Hi, binocular boy. Did yourself, my children. Best meal I have had in many years. Thanks for the compliment. You are now invited to Christmas dinner. Oh, well, I would be honored. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. 
Dinner was great. Fantastic. Amazing. Delicious. Mesmerizing. Mesmerizing? Really? Fine. You are also invited. And thank you for helping with dinner tonight. Mom, you brought cold hot dogs. They had cheese, cheese inside. inside. <laughs> Where do you normally eat? On Christmas? <sighs> Porter's Pizza. That's so sad. I feel like hugging you. I say go with your instincts. <clears throat> so, Otto, when did you start celebrating Christmas? My wife, Aglaya, and I, we adopted Christmas many years ago. And while as Jews, we do not worship Jesus, we recognized that he was an extraordinary man, a good rabbi, a teacher who taught others to be kind to love one another and to forgive those who have wronged us. I witnessed the very worst that man can become. He was an example of what man should strive to be. One cannot help but honor, respect, and cherish such an amazing person. Something is going on. Horrid Tooth Haley got braces. Apparently she got sick of her crooked smile. Her parents probably had to mortgage the trailer home to get him. Binocular boy Josh got contacts. Now he can actually see. <laughs> there goes my entertainment. And you will never believe what Minnie Mindy did. Why are you wearing pajamas to school? You look ridiculous. Let me help you out. Ah! Yes! Yes! I don't get it. Everyone's so... Happy? Yes, it's disgusting. Hey, Sue. Today's the day, you excited? Heck yeah, history is about to be made in science class. <laughs> what are you losers talking about? Mr. Anderson's judging the science projects today. What lame thing did you make? Only the most epic volcano ever. <laughs> oh, a volcano, how original. This is no ordinary volcano. It's got smoke, lights, and even sound effects. So we're basically guaranteed victory. It's a huge part of our grade, so we work super hard on it. I'm going to class. You coming? I'll see you in eighth period after the assembly. We're going to dominate. See how epic it is now.
get along with everybody, don't you? Is this part of your volunteering charity stuff? Snowmen for widows? Not normally, but everyone else has decorations to show their Christmas spirit, so? Did you not see the smiling Santa hanging on the wall inside? Yes, but that's inside. Out here, it's like a corpse factory. No spirit. <laughs> now, your neighbor Otto had an orphan for Frosty, so he thought you guys could give him a good home. Frosty doesn't seem to like you much. Yeah, but once he gets to know me, he'll realize I'm a good guy and that I really care about him. You want to help with Frosty's midsection? Can't have a snowman without six-pack abs to hold him up. Are you sure you want to make a snowman with better abs than yours? Hey. I can't possibly be my daughter setting up a Christmas decoration. Hey! I gave in to peer pressure. Hey, Callie, when we're done, why don't you go invite Otto for dinner to say thank you for Frosty? Do you think he'll like my stew? Everyone likes your stew. Do you like stew, Chris? Otto? Hello there. Is this real? I did not mean for you to see that. They... They can't just kick you out. The owner has decided to sell. Isn't there something we can do? This is Nellie. She's been trying to get you kicked out. It will be all right. If this is what is required, I will comply. You can't just give up. I fear the law is on their side. That doesn't mean it's hopeless. I, I came to invite you to dinner. Chris will be there too. Between the four of us, we can definitely figure something out. So, do you think it'll work? It's worth a shot. I've read more rental agreements than I care to remember. A landlord has to give you longer than a week to move out. At the very least, an attorney will get you more time to figure things out. And Otto, if you need money or help with the attorney, I know someone who can help with that. You are all so kind. Between this wonderful meal and your friendship, I feel much better. <laughs> oh, by the way, you are all going to the pink Christmas party, yes? No way. It's Nellie's party. Oh, what's this party? It is so much more than Nellie. <laughs> Many people work hard on this party. Many children receive gifts from Santa. For some, I'm afraid it is all they will receive. Do not let one person spoil the Christmas spirit you have allowed back into your heart. It's up to you, but I'm going. You'd really leave me and go alone? <clears throat> Technically, she wouldn't be going alone. And I was just starting to like you. <laughs> Please, Callie, promise me you will go. It would mean so very much to me. Fine, I promise. But if Nellie talks to me, I might do something that might get me in even more trouble than I am at school. Mm. I'll walk Otto home, then... We should probably talk. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh-huh. Come on, Otto. Good night, and thank you again. Good night, Otto. Good night, Otto. So, this revenge you and Sue play on Lisa, it made you feel better, yes? When I saw the humiliated look on Lisa's face, I felt like crying. I don't get it. Lisa's rich, popular, beautiful. <sighs> Why did Sue and I feel so bad for her? Mm, but when Lisa was mean to the other kids, you do nothing at first, yes? I mean, it was nice having popular friends. I didn't want to give that up. But then you give up popularity to play this joke on Lisa as a way to come 
two shoes defects. Yes? Uh huh. So, who came to Lisa's defense when she was standing there, humiliated? No one. Everyone just laughed. Interesting. For such a popular girl, is that not strange? I never thought about it like that. But yeah. I have lived across from Lisa most of her life. I have seen much. You and Sue felt bad. Because, for one brief moment, you saw the real Lisa. A girl who feels lonely, worthless, unloved. Sometimes our enemies are only our enemies until we truly get to know them. What's that from? My life. You save it? I'm so, so sorry, Otto. How is he? Well, the procedure went well. The stent restored the blood flow to his heart, but unfortunately Otto hasn't regained consciousness yet. We're not exactly sure why. There is a chance that a blood clot may have formed and traveled to his brain, if that is the case. The chances of Otto waking up are pretty slim, but... The odds of him waking up without debilitating brain damage. You all right, sweetie? No, Mom, I'm not all right. I finally allowed myself to believe that the Christmas curse was gone, that it was done, but I was wrong, and it's all my fault. You know that's not true. Yes, it is. I saw the Santa box in Otto's living room. It was him the whole time. He's lived here for 10 years, perfectly happy. 
Then he gives me the Santa box, and now he's getting evicted. His garden is ruined, his wife's flower is destroyed, and now he's in the hospital dying. This is why I hate Christmas. Nothing ever happens to me. It's the people I love that suffer. Dad, you, Grandpa, and now Otto. You better think twice before coming back here for Christmas next year. Does that mean you care about me? Morning, sweetie. What's wrong? Is Otto okay? I just called. No changes, unfortunately. How are you? I don't know. Maybe the Christmas party will cheer you up? Even if I didn't hate Christmas more than ever, how could I go to the Christmas party with Otto dying in the hospital? I have something to tell you. I help Otto with the Santa box. You? My mom died when I was 10. My dad was a drunk. Life was hard. And then the Santa box showed up. What did you wish for? A family. I got my wish, too. Child services showed up one day, and eventually I was adopted by an amazing family. I don't know where I'd be without this little box. Years later, I found out it was Otto, and we've been friends ever since. He gives me the money and the Santa box list, and I buy all the stuff and deliver it. He calls me his elf. Gee, he got you a family? I just got everybody gift cards and stuff. Hey, don't do that. Don't diminish what you did for those kids. You gave exactly what they needed when they needed it. And take it from somebody who's been on the other side of it. You have no idea what that meant to them. You should be proud. I am. And I know your mom is. And Otto is amazed by you. Why didn't he just tell me? Yeah, he's got his reasons. And he swore me to secrecy. But under the current circumstances, I think it's time for all of Otto's secrets to come out. All? He has more? Yeah one I didn't even know about until today. Otto's pretty much sold everything he owns in order to keep funding the Santa box. I'm sorry. I still can't go. Would you like to know why Christmas means so much to Otto? It's because this little box saved his life. How did it save his life? Well, 
I guess you're gonna have to come to the Christmas party to find out. I'll tell you on the way. The gifts have still not arrived. Parents and dozens of excited kids are asking me where Santa is. I just talked to Santa. He's running a little late. Everything is fine. Okay, I'm sorry. It's just the little kids. The kids, kids, kids. The party just started. Tell everyone to chill. Then tell their parents that the snot nosed kids are getting free toys, so maybe they shouldn't complain about having to wait. Mm -hmm. Great party, as always. Thank your mother for us. Merry Christmas, Lisa. Tell your mom the party is amazing. Have you seen Johanna and Kasaya? They're an hour late. Or begging to be my friend again. I only hung out with you because my mom made me. You're a loser just like the others. I came to apologize. Instead of playing a joke on you, I should have just been honest and talked to you. Talked about what? <laughs> Why you act the way you do? Me. There's nothing wrong with me. You're the loser. Just stop who... it, Lisa. You tease certain kids. You call them cruel names, isolate them. You make them feel bad because that's how you feel all the time. You just barely moved here. Don't act like you know me. You're right. I don't know you. Not the real you, anyway. But that's the Lisa I want to be friends with. And I don't care if you're rich or popular or pretty, but I do care if you're sad or if you're lonely or just need somebody to talk to. I care because I'm a good friend, and I hope to be yours someday. What do you think you're doing? You didn't tell me you were gonna sing. I didn't even know you could sing. You were supposed to meet me an hour ago. I've been walking around here by myself like a loser. Well? You mean we actually get to talk for once? Well, you didn't- Not that you would notice, or would we care. But we started taking singing lessons. Someone anonymously encouraged us to develop our talents, so we gave it a try, and we're actually good. Good enough that we were asked to sing tonight. Although we assume it wasn't your mom who requested us. But we will need to practice more, so we're no longer your tag-alongs. Singing's more important than money. Money? What are you talking about? Your mom, she pays kids to be your friend. Why else would everyone put up with you? That's not true. <laughs> Aw, you actually think people like you. So is Santa coming or what? I can't get a hold of the guy. Well, who is he? Why don't we just go to him and pick up the gifts? I don't know who he is. How do you not know who he is? You, like, literally use him every single year. Hi, sorry to interrupt the party, but I have some bad news. Santa's not coming because he's in the hospital. <laughs> uh, don't worry, kids. Not the real Santa. Just one of his helpers who's been playing Santa at these parties for the past nine years. His name is Otto Nems. You all know Otto. He's the 80-year-old man your town council recently evicted just so Nellie Green could buy the property. I'm putting a stop to this. No. Let her finish. Please. You never bothered to get to know Otto. So let me tell you about my friend. Ich bin Klaus. Ich werde dir dich beehren.
hier bist du sicher. Verstecke dich einfach am Tag. Wenn es dunkel wird, kannst du die Box holen. Wenn möglich, schreib mir auf Papier, was du brauchst und ich hole es dir. Ich verspreche dir, dass ich wieder zurückkomme, solange ich am Leben bin. Ich werde zurückkommen. The boy was Otto. For six months, Klaus brought food, water, and did his best to bring whatever Otto wrote on the papers. A blanket, medicine, and even a toy for Christmas. This is the box that Klaus used to save Otto's life all those years ago. When I first moved here with my mom, I hated Christmas. Otto used this to teach me what Christmas is really about. It's a time to forget ourselves and think of others. He and his wife used their fortune to fund the Santa box, but when the money ran out, Otto started secretly selling his antiques and everything he owned online, all so he could continue his favorite tradition and more. He's also been buying your Christmas gifts for all these years. To be fair, Nellie had no idea since Otto wanted to remain anonymous. Otto looked forward to this party every single year. And while he may not be with us here in person, the spirit of Christmas that he loves so much is Merry Christmas. If you'd like to say goodbye, it's time. Thank you for opening her heart. I never got to thank Klaus. But I got to thank you every day. Goodbye, my friend. I'll be in the hall, okay, sweetie? I kept my promise. I went to the Christmas party. It was fun. Oh, I kind of told everybody your secret. But blame Chris, because he's the one who told me. I remember what you told me. And I'm choosing to stay strong. And I asked myself the question, what am I supposed to learn from all of this? And I think I finally know. I learned that friendship is more important than popularity. That forgiveness is more powerful than revenge. And that Christmas is the best time to make memories with the ones you love. Even if bad things are happening at the time. But I still want to make memories with you. I'm sorry 
for being so angry for so long, but I'm not anymore. Otto helped me to understand. He had a right to be angry, but he never was. Maybe he wants to be with his wife, but if it's okay, will you please, please tell him that he has a family here on earth too? I couldn't find a purple snapdragon, so I picked the one I thought you'd like most. But I don't know its name. But you'll tell me when you wake up. You'll tell me. Todo un día baja mensis. My second favorite flower. Oh no! So, you are happy now? No more of this Christmas curse nonsense, yes? Totally done. I promise. Good. <laughs> Very good. Maybe I spoke too soon. I'm so glad you're all right, Otto. Good to see you, my friend. Well, that's the problem. <clears throat> I haven't been a very good friend. I made a mistake. It almost cost you your home. Almost? Does that mean that Otto's not evicted? This is Nellie's purchase agreement. It seems she had a sudden change of heart. Everyone's real sorry, Otto. Well, that is all in the past. <laughs> Besides, it's Christmas Eve. Who could have bad feelings at such a time as this? The, the, the town council wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. You are so kind. <laughs> this, this is wonderful. What are the speed limits in town these days? <laughs> Got another surprise for you, Otto. Wow, the snow looks real. Snow? What snow? It hasn't snowed here in decades. <laughs> Better late than never. And now that your home is no longer empty, maybe people can come inside and visit you once in a while. Oh, yes. Yes, as, as the saying goes, no time like the present. <laughs> Please, come in, my friends. Everyone decided to throw you a Santa box party. Half the town have stories that they want to share with you about how the Santa box helped them in their time of need. Oh, I was not alone in this work. Without the help of my elf, Chris, I could never have continued. I think you should promote your elf to Santa. Then you can enjoy the party for once. That is a wonderful idea. What say you, Chris? Well, as long as I don't have to wear green tights anymore, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Green tights? I'm sorry I missed that. Oh, trust me, you are not. <laughs> yeah, you do the honors. <laughs> Dozens of families shared their Santa Box stories with Otto. 
And he was so happy when they told him they had plans to make Santa boxes of their own. Hi. I'm Lisa. Callie. Nice to meet you, Lisa. And while I didn't get a TV for Christmas, I got something even better. A new home. New friends. And maybe even a new family. Oh, would you look at that? We just happened to stop under the mistletoe. It's like fate wants us to kiss. Mm. Have I ever told you that fate is my middle name? <laughs> Thank you for coming, my friends. Merry Christmas. Come back again soon. My name is Callie Watts. And I love Christmas. In fact, it's my favorite time of year. Winter paints the perfect scene, twinkling lights on evergreens, covered in a blanket of snow. Hustle bustle in the square, Christmas spirit fills the air, everyone is bright and all the glow. But the best gift I know is in wrapped in Love is the gift of Christmas. 